Hey friends, I am here today with a super budget hat wig from Amazon. Some of you, if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I love hat wigs. They are a non-negotiable in my wig wearing closet and I wear them constantly. A hat wig, typically the kind of hat wigs I have look like this. They don't have any hair on the top and so that you don't have any extra bulk underneath your wig. It's not hot, extra hot, I should say, and hats fit over them perfectly. This is my um, hat wig from the Hustle Wig. I actually own hat wigs from In Vogue Medical Wigs, the Hustle Wig, and Milano. I love, love, love hat wigs so much, but I hear from you, and you don't, these wigs, I think the cheapest one of all of them is about $540. And that's just too much for some of you. I completely understand. And so I was on the hunt for a hat wig and a wig sister emailed me, said she bought this one and she loves it. So I bought it and I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. I am so excited to be bringing you guys a budget-friendly wig. This is under $9. I paid $8 in some cents for this piece. Now, let's go back to what I had on in the beginning. Hat wigs are my thing. I love hat wigs so much. They are a non-negotiable part of my wig journey. I wear hat wigs all the time. I own many because I wear them so much, and it's literally like throw and go my favorite thing. I Easy to throw on if you don't wear wigs around the house, but somebody comes to the door, you can keep a hat wig handy, throw it on, throw on your hat, and you're at the door. It's just amazing. All the hat wigs that I currently own are human hair because I find it a little more comfortable on my neck. I do get really irritated by synthetic fibers that are pressed into my neck, and so wearing a synthetic wig with a hat kind of exacerbates that. A wig sister shared some of her hat wig ideas with me and she sent me a link to this one. $9, $8 in some cents on Amazon if you have Prime with free returns. So let's talk about it. First of all, this is a humongous hat. So when I put this hat on and I kind of get it into place, it pretty much covers my ears or presses my ears out because it's so big on me. Now I have very petite, child size over the top of my head. So if you have average over the top of your head measurements, this is gonna be fine for you. All of my measurements are in the description so you can go check them out and double check them against yours. The other caution I will give you, the hair is very low density, very low density. Now I think this would be challenging to wear at this length this is beyond mermaid, you guys. It's almost down to my waist. I can't even get up high enough to show you. It's well below my bust. And I'm 5'8", 5'9", 5'8 and 3 quarters. So honestly, I think if you're petite, this is gonna be so long on you. I have a video though on YouTube showing how to shorten. I had a um, budget Amazon headband wig that was way too long, probably this long, and way too thick. And I made a Tip Tuesday video showing how to shorten it and thin it. You can use that to help you shorten this one if you don't want it this long. I think it will be easier to wear down if it were shorter, but it is, I mean, guys, it's pretty challenging. Look at how sparse it is. That said, this would be great in a ponytail. Whether you keep it long or shorten it, you can wear this in a ponytail and then that kind of sparseness isn't going to be as much of an issue. I think this is great for my big head uh, club sisters whose head measurements tend to run a little bigger. This hat not only is really big over the top, but it's got quite a bit in the back. You can see I have uh, cinched it in really far, but you, there's a lot more that you can do in the back to loosen it. So I do think this is going to be quite big head friendly. So I've been on the hunt, you guys, for budget hat wigs that I think could work for people who aren't going to spend, you know, $600 on a human hair hat wig. And so this is just the first of hopefully many I'll be able to show you. But because a wig sister owns this, 
I thought I would bring it to you as well. So I purchased it off of Amazon and here you go. Not bad for a $9 hat wig in my opinion. So if you are looking for a hat wig and you don't mind maybe working with it a little bit to shorten it some, I mean you could wear it long, but I think it'll look better down if it were shortened. It would just wouldn't look as sparse that way or just get it and wear it in a ponytail or one of my favorite ways to wear hat wigs, braids. On this one, you could braid it on a mannequin head. So basically, I, don't, I wouldn't use one of these, but I have a canvas block head that sits on a tripod. And I like to put my wigs on the head and then I can braid or do anything and you don't have to do it on your own head. So you could put this in a braid down the back or you could split it into pigtail braids and braid it that way. My super long hat wigs, this one is from The Hustle Wig. I do have a review on YouTube. Um, I love to braid my The Hustle Wig wigs in pigtail braids. I just think it's the cutest thing and it's so fun. So you can definitely do those things with this one. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna go check it out. And if you know of any good hat wig options, I would like to find some really cheap ones reasonably priced ones that don't have the hat attached. This obviously, you're not taking the hat off this one. It's all attached. So if you're looking for a hat wig that you can change the hat out, this one isn't for you. But I'm sure there are some out there, so I'd love to hear about them if you know of any. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll keep looking to bring you guys some good, budget-friendly wigs. Talk to you soon. Hey, friends. Thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.